what is up y'all welcome back to the channel today we are getting back in to the iron man prep series i believe this is episode seven don't quote me on that but i'm pretty sure so today i'm going to take you to the gym with me get a chest workout in and then later on today we have a fart lick run and i will kind of explain what that is i've done them in the past this is my first one in iron man prep and i'm really looking forward to it so i will see y'all there peace for today i had an hour scheduled made it a little over seven miles so my pace was an 823 which I'm pretty happy about and pretty out of breath so i'm gonna go inside get cleaned up eat a little bit and then i will do a video where i break down exactly what a fart lick run is and kind of explain it to you and how it is going to benefit me in my training for this iron man all right so don't know how well you can see this but I'm basically gonna talk through it anyway. So in any type of endurance training, there's going to be multiple different types of runs. We're gonna have easy runs, tempo runs, threshold runs, intervals. And then we have what I just completed, the fart lick run. And I wanna make this very clear, it's not fart lick, cause I did watch a Nick Bear video where he thought for the longest that that's what it's called, but no, it is not. And for those of you wondering, fartlek is, is, is Swedish for speed play. And that is essentially what we are doing in these fartlek runs, is we are playing with the speed and the pace at which we run. So if we go over here, I'll actually zoom in on some of these spots like once we're done so that I can throw them in the video and show you a little bit better. Cause I know this shit's probably hard to see, it's pretty light, whatever. But this here is what I did today and that is a 20 minute warm up. So I did that in a very light, worked my way into a zone one heart rate. And then I ran different, I, th they are intervals, but they're not. So with interval running, what you do is you run for a set amount of time or a set distance, and then you rest in between. So a common thing that I'll do is either like 400 meter or 800 meter repeats with 30, minute, 30 seconds to a minute in between each set. But with this fartlek run, it's a continuous run the entire time. Like you're never stopping the actual run. <laughs> it's just slowing down. So after that 20 minute warm up, I did a minute of a higher intensity. And what this intensity was is a BSE, which is a best sustainable effort. That is the best, the most, the fastest, the most effective way that I can run for one minute. So I did that, then I took a minute where I brought it back down to a slower pace, it's like a recovery pace. It's a very light jog, almost like a power walk, but you're still keeping that run going. Then I did two minutes at my best sustainable effort, took a minute off. Three minutes at best sustainable effort, recovery minute. Five minutes, recovery minute. And then I worked back down three, two, one again with obviously rest in between each one. So. Basically, it is intervals, but it's a much less structured format than a legitimate interval run. And like I said, there is no rest during it. And the thing that I like most about these, I use them all the time in my marathon training. So I was super excited to see Coach put them back on the calendar for Ironman prep. 
they let you get a taste of what it's really like. So much of our running as endurance athletes is done at such a low pace that you never really get to see what you're capable of. Like we always say, in order to go fast, you have to go slow. And I've been very transparent about what that's meant for me. And it has been forcing myself to go slower, forcing myself to go get time rather than distance. And doing these fartlek runs, it actually lets you see, okay, if I was to really push on the gas and really see where I can go, how fast would I be going? I was super happy with the pacing that I had, considering how much of a warm up, a cool down, and then the recovery there was. Like for me to keep it at a 820 ish pace, like I can tell already that I'm getting faster and I'm still almost eight months out from race day. So I'm really looking forward to incorporating this more into my training and yeah, so hopefully for those of you who didn't know what a fartlek run is at all before, hopefully this gives you a little bit of insight. If you do want some more information, drop a comment below. I'd be more than happy to throw up like a newsletter or a thread on Twitter or anything like that just to give a little bit more context. So yeah, let me know if that's something you guys would be interested in. All right, y'all, that is going to be a wrap on today's video. But before we go, I want to remind you guys about my brand, Desire to Inspire. We are officially launching our first bit of merch. We got these bottles here, a see-through, clear, white, whatever you want to call it, and a black. These are available online now. I am not 100% sure at the time of filming this where they are located on the internet, but they're there. So I'm going to drop the link right below in the description of this video so you guys can go ahead Snag one of these, support your boy, tag me on Twitter, Instagram, wherever. I'll be sure to share it out, and I appreciate the support. If you would like to support me another way directly, you can always go to dogfit.com. Use code Dylan at checkout and get 15% off your entire order. And again, that goes to directly support me. I appreciate each and every one of you guys, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.